Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to look into what is the best Ethereum mining software. Find out here in a second. Hey guys, real quick before we go on, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Got a couple videos coming out every week. Various subjects, speculative coin mining, trading, uh, videos like today's topic, best miners, etc. Right? So do that real quick. It takes just a second. And if you like this kind of content, hit that thumbs up. I would appreciate it as well. Okay, so I've been mining probably about a year and a half now. I've been online mining, and usually the miner I use for any of the Ethash algorithms, like for Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, stuff like that, Callisto, um, has been Claymore. It's been my one, my go to miner been using it for years uh, but here recently um, I've just been looking to squeeze a little more mega hash out of my cards finding ways to do so so I did a little research online and did some testing here recently and what I found is the Phoenix miner uh, gives me about seven eight anywhere from six to eight percent increase in my mega hash uh, on my AMD rig so let's jump into that AMD rig here real quick, which is right here. This is the Phoenix Miner running right now. So as you can see, we got about 120, just over 120 mega hash on this rig, and it's four 560s, a 570, and a 580. Uh, whereas before with my Claymore Miner, and I'll, I'll pop that up here in a second, getting about 112 to 113. So let me go back out of this um, the github or the um, Bitcoin talk for the Phoenix miner is right here all these links I talk about in this video will be down below so don't worry about having to search for them so here's the um, Bitcoin talk like I said goes over all kinds of aspects of the miner what it can do command line prompts etc here is the github um, as well goes over the miner what it can do algorithms stuff like that Phoenix Miner is an Ethash algorithm, uh, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Music Coin, EXP, you know, etc., etc. Um, here's the mining pool list, so you can go in here for algorithm and say you want to look for um, X16R. It'll pull up all the algorithms for X16R. So what I did, Ethash, found that below. These are all the coins that you can mine with this. Uh, miner slash algorithm it's got quite a few over 20 so you got plenty to choose from if you decide to uh, go with the ethash algorithm ethereum ethereum classic whatever again all these links will be down below so don't worry about trying to find any of this information so let's go back over to the miner um, like i said 120 sometimes it'll pump up to 120 and a half 121 but it's been pretty stable uh, in, in my testing with it, so what, about, um, let me see, last night I've been running it since, so about 15, 16 hours or so. Um, I've done some little tests, little tweaks here and there before then, stopped and started it, but it's been stable, running fine at that mega hash. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to close this miner. So we had about 120 mega hash on that. Let me pull up my miners folder. And I'm going to scroll up. And we're going to pull out Claymore, Ethereum Classic right here. Claymore V12, Ethereum Classic. And scroll down to the bottom. And I will click Run. So while this spools up real quick and gets going, we'll see what the... Um, mega hash is going to be on it. I'll go over the overclocks I have for my cards in this AMD rig if you guys are interested. So the 580, uh, negative 22 on the power limit, 1250 core, 2250 on the memory. Now all my 560s are all the same. Again, negative 22 power, 1300 core clock, and 2200 memory. Those are all four uh, RX 560s. So let's scroll down to the 570 now. Again, negative 22 power limit, 
1250 on the core and 2250 on the memory. Those are the best um, settings, at least for me personally, that I've found works the best for these cards on this rig. So let me see if we're getting anything right now. About 110 it looks like. Let's see if I can blow that up. It's kind of hard to see on this rig. <sighs> nope. But it's about 110 mega hash right now. That will bump up here in a little bit once it gets going to about 112, 113. There we are. We are at about 110 still. So while that's going, um, if you're going to mine Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, I've got the bat file below this video, so you can just copy that. It's going over to Mining Pool Hub. Uh, which is one of the pools that I use for Ethereum Classic. You can copy that and start mining. If you need a wallet, you can download the Zellcore wallet right here. Um, again, multi-coin uh, wallet. Really easy to use. Got 70, 80 plus different coins on there. So if you want, again, I don't get any money out of this. this is a, it's a good wallet. It's one I use. So you can download this wallet and get going with Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. So what are we up to? 117, that actually spiked up. But still, as you can see, Phoenix Miner, that will adjust. Phoenix Miner is still higher than that by three, four mega hash. Um, so as far as the battle of the miners, the Phoenix Miner has been doing the best. So we'll pull Phoenix Miner back up right here. Scroll down here a little bit. Where are we at? Phoenix Miner. Boom. Pull this up. And it's more stable than the uh, Claymore Miner, at least that I've found. Claymore Miner, the cards seem to switch on and off for whatever reason. And this Phoenix Miner seems to stay pretty stable. So, again good miner if you want to download and use this miner the links will be down below this video let's see what it spools up to here in a little bit this takes a little while to spool up I've seen it get as high as 122 123 sometimes and it'll settle back down same thing with the claymore it'll spike up and then it settles back down with the difficulty but pretty solid 120 to 121 for this Phoenix miner but again GitHub's right here. You would just click on release and that'll take you over to where you can download this miner. Scroll down here a bit. There's the Windows version 7 zip or you can go over to their GitHub or not the GitHub, Bitcoin Talk. Scroll down here and click on the Mega NZ and that will take you over to where you can download that as well. So I guess that's going to be it. Let me see where we're at. That's spooling up still a little bit. Takes a bit to get going. So let me know, guys, what miner are you are you guys using? Um, Claymore, Phoenix Miner. Uh, which one do you guys think is the best? At least in my most recent testing, it is the Phoenix Miner. Um, let me know below, guys. All right. Like to hear uh, hear your thoughts. Uh, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, um, just put them down below and I will definitely get back to you guys. Alright, so with that, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.